I forgot to mention this in my quick rundown, but the submission deadline is May 8th, 12 p.m. UTC negative 8, which is Pacific Standard Time. Also, if you want to submit craft to me, you will have to join me on Discord. There will be a link to my actual channel for this tournament, as well as my Discord name in the description. Hello one, hello all. Welcome back to what is technically from the depths. Now, what I'm going to be doing is going over the rules and regulations for the tournament I will be hosting. For these first few minutes, I will just be banging on about the rules, so the people who have uh, minimal time or just want to know the answers will be able to get out there and start working on it and or move on with their life. So first and foremost, the material construction budget is 225,000 material. The material you can consume in battle is 50k. It must be capable of traversing land and water and have absolutely zero aerial capabilities. This will take place on the standard Ashes of the Empire map at the coordinates 10 2. So if you look at their map, you'll be able to see uh, exactly what plot I'll be using. It will be best of two. However, we will fight all three matches. This will be a 2v2, so the same craft you, you uh, submit will be on one team, two of them, and then whatever they submit will be on one team, two of them as well. And how it's going to work is the first round, it will be uh, team A on the water and team B on land, and then second round, those will flip, so B is in the water and A is on land, and then the third one, they will both be on land. This will last for five minutes, you'll get five minutes only. Um, you will spawn 1,750 meters apart, facing away from one another, so your fronts will be uh, opposing. And this will be standard despawn rules. The weapons banned are the diff spam, if you know, you know, nukes, intentional ramming, ramming slash drills, large and huge missiles. The defenses we ban are repair bots, tentacles, warping rods, ring shields, and projectors. And for techniques, we went ahead and banned cheese. If you aren't confident that it's fair, probably banned, but feel free to reach out to me anyway. Uh, sub object clipping in general, try to keep this to an absolute minimum, please. Blueprint spawners and dragless objects. Now, those are the rules. If you care to stick around, here is why I chose said rule. So, we come over on the right side, which may or may not have been flashing up on this um, this here video. I may have had examples, may have not. But you see, question number one. 50% said water, 50% said land. Now, there's other votes in here, of course, but I went ahead and decided the top two would be most important. So, amphibious. Half water, half land. Simple. Now, for the budget, it's a bit more complicated, as you can see on the left-hand side here. What material budget should there be? Has a lot of different answers with a lot of different, um, like varying amounts of it. The TODR on, on the math I used for this was I took the uh, the price, let's say 100k, multiply it by the votes, so 9, that's now 900k, multiply it by the percentage, which is 0 0.409 if you were to do it like mathematically, and then I will take the other categories, for example, 500k, multiply it by the number of votes, um, 6, which is 3 million, multiply it by 0.273, etc. And that would come out to uh, 220k, I rounded it up to 225,000 material for you guys to work with. Now, second here, we have the material cap. Let's go down to that. Same dealio, same exact spread, same exact map. Answer comes up to about 54,500. I dropped it to 50k to be a flat, even number. Now, weapon system. This is where some of the math gets a bit more complicated, but I'll explain why in a moment. So, you see on the right hand side here, we have varying different levels of approval. And the same with different levels of uh, disapproval, I'll say. So what I went ahead and did was I decided to take the amount of votes that I got yes. So, you know, for APS, let's say we have 21 out of 22. And what we'll do is um, we'll get that percentage and I'll rank them. So what I went ahead and did was I ranked them and then the top five weapons were allowed. However, weapons six, seven, and eight are also allowed. And what I did was to not so much force you guys into one play style, I decided to change the math up a little bit so that if you use the top five weapon systems and only the top five weapon systems, you will receive an incentive point if they are present on your craft. So this means if your craft uses APS, cram cannons, missiles, casemates, and simple weapons, you will receive the incentive point. However, if your craft has lasers, any and all EMP, or packs, you will not receive it. This does not mean you'll get a negative one point, this means it just will be nullified. So once again, if, if your craft has any lasers, any EMP, or any packs, you will not receive the incentive point. You will only get it if you use APS, cram, missiles, casemates, and simple weapons. Now let me explain why I did this. So as I said, I don't want to shoehorn you guys into any particular playstyle, right? I want you guys to build your craft how you see fit, 
use weapons you see fit, etc. But this is to like push people in a certain direction and to get like the uh, the scoring to be very interesting, so to say. So I'll explain more about the scoring in a moment, but that's that's first and foremost. And feel free to pause and read all this. It will be linked in the description as well. For defenses, a bit simpler. It just the um same same sort of math. So we have the total vote, uh, the yes votes over the total votes. And then if that was over 50%, you were allowed. So lambs scraped by with a 68.2% of its, you know, people who actually voted, whereas tentacles and repair bots got a 42.9, so those were banned. Now, uh, for more about the scoring, you will receive two points per round that you won with a max of five. So if you win all three rounds, you will not receive six points, you will receive five points. If you, re if you win two rounds, you will receive uh, four points. Now, if you lose the round, you will lose one point. It will not be a zero. You will actually lose points. And I'll explain why in a moment. So, as you see with my example here, if you win two to one, you'll get four points. If you win three to one, uh, three to zero, you get five points. Lose zero to three, you'll lose two points. And if you lose one to two, you'll get zero, literally zero points. And the reason why I did this was once again, to incentivize uh, people who were more into the aesthetic sort of thing. So if we come down here, and shoot, looks, and aesthetics count towards scores. Two thirds of you said yes, and a third of you said no. I'm gonna go ahead and assume the third of you that said no were worried that it would somehow make your looks more important than your um, like capabilities. So, you know, some people aren't the best at building, some people aren't super creative, maybe the most effective weapon or craft isn't the best looking craft, and you don't want that to affect the uh, standing. So what I decided to do, was to add yet another incentive point called the crowd favorite. This is not. This would not be decided by me. Once we have the so this will be a match per match basis decided by you guys in the community. What's going to happen is once the video goes live of them fighting, in the comments I'll ask you guys to tell me which one looked the best, which one fought the cleanest, which one was the most creative, the underdog, etc. Basically, which one were you rooting for? Obviously, this will change by person per person, by round or by match per per match. And this will allow the people who are more design oriented to rack up a point for their hard work. This will play into effect with the incentive point as well uh, for the scoring. Because if you win 3 to 0, you will not receive the incentive point for the weapons. So even if your craft only uses APS, only uses crams, only uses missiles, casemates, and simple weapons, you will not get the incentive point for that weapon system. If you only stick to those top five weapon systems, and let's say you win three out of three zero, you will then get five points. Does it make sense? If you were to win two to one, you get four points anyway. But if you win three to zero, you'll get five points. And what this means is, if, if someone were to lose a round in their match, they would still be able to tie someone that didn't lose a round if they were the crowd favorite. I say if, of course, because I have no idea. I have no submissions. I, I'm not even regulating that. Like, if you guys like it, whatever. You can have whatever rationale as to why you preferred craft A over craft B, and it would just get the point. It, but it would not receive the point if it's 3-0. Now, that does not mean, you know, to then go ahead and be like, oh, I like the loser, right? Let's, let's try to be fair. If the winner would have got the crowd favor point, well, then no one gets it for that match. Okay, now uh, let's go over to the tournament questions and I'll just do a real quick scroll down so you guys can see the results. Like I said, this will be linked in the description if you guys are interested. And of course, pause the video, feel free to do all that nonsense, whatever. But yeah, I figured this was a creative way to push people in a certain direction without outright disqualifying anything and all the while um, incentivizing you guys to, to um, play a certain way, if it makes any sense. So, you stick with the top 5 weapons, you get a set of point, you win all 3 of your matches, or uh, rounds per your match, you will not get the point, and if you have a crowd favorite, you will get another point. All these numbers will be explained on a match per match basis, and I will be calcul calculating them myself, and of course, you know, if you have any issues with my, with my rules, feel free to reach out, I have no problem addending things, I prefer not to solely to keep things, um, keep communications clear, so some people, you know, maybe only watch this video, don't hop into Discord, never never get an updated uh, rules list and then you know I change stuff and I'm like whoa I didn't know so if there's any issues with this please reach out as soon as possible so I can make this official word pass and stay passed so back to the top the due date is May 8th 2021 
this will be at noon pacific time i say that because i'm in the pacific uh pst time zone and at noon my time that is the last moment i will be allowing any sort of submissions there will be no fixes no changes no patches you know no uh, modifications after loss rounds nothing what you submit is what you submit have fun good luck everyone and i will be producing myself I'll, I'll probably get my butt kicked but it'll be fun that's all i got everybody Make sure you do all those YouTube things, like, favorite, subscribe, and whatnot. But I'll see you next time. Bye bye. More than half of the mess. Yeah. But the bulwark is not happy about the half of the miss. Did you just decide to roll over? You've got holes in the bottom. Okay, now it's. Oh, um. I think your Segaris is about to end the space.